please welcome Anil Pandey pitching Calorie Coin. Hi, I'm Anil Pandey. Oh well, can you hear me now? Okay. Um, and uh, I want to give you a little bit back of background about myself. Um, back in 1992, I founded a, a company called Transcender, and uh, what we did is it was uh, based on the Microsoft uh, Systems Engineer uh, and Software Developer Certification Training, targeting, targeting those that were building the internet. We sold that for $60 million in uh, 2000. And, um, We sold that in, in 2000. And so now um, what's going on is I've got a new company, Calorcoin LLC, and, oh, can you go back? Okay. Um, can we go backwards on it? Backwards. You're going forwards. Okay. And so we have a comp comparison here of uh, Bitcoin and Calorcoin. Now with Bitcoin, the proof of uh, work system that we have there is uh, causing an environmental catastrophe. The, it's based on the uh, proof of wasted power. And uh, you have um, nuclear power being used um, to make the bitcoins and it's causing a lot of pollution. And uh, the, the solution that we have here is uh, calorie coin and that uh, promotes cardiovascular health and the uh, proof of work system is proof of physical work and we have an app right now and what it does is it, it uses artificial intelligence, it's an artificial intelligence vision sensor and a client server integrated system and it's an environmentally sound proof of work blockchain currency mining system that uses AI to evaluate the claims. And right now you can uh, get a copy of it up on the Google Play Store, it's available as a free download. And how does this work? Well, it implements Google's $30 billion new cloud platform network. And uh, on the back end, we have the server, which has Firebase for the authentication, the database storage, remote configuration. It also implements uh, Google's cloud vision and cloud video intelligence. And on the client, we have the Android operating system with Java, C++, OpenCV. And so what it's going to do is it's going to use AI to basically take a video okay, that takes time-lapse photography of an exercise session. So what you would do is set it up in front of yourself when you're exercising. And if you exercise for 20 minutes, those 20 minutes can be viewed in 20 seconds. So instead of um, running the, the camera at 30 frames a second, it'll take one frame um, every two seconds. And so 20 minutes can be viewed in 20 seconds. So in the case where some AI can't figure out what's going on, a person could actually view the um, exercise session and make sure that uh, they're actually exercising. Um, but the, the AI is, is being worked on now, and uh, it, it also uses OpenCV and object tracking. And this is the same technology that is being used to drive cars. So if, it can, if that technology can use a, you know, be used to drive cars, it can tell whether a person is exercising. And so how, how are we going to monetize this? Uh, one thing that can be used is it could be sold to gyms, uh, health and fitness programs to incentivize people to exercise. Also for, say, patient compliance, um, if, if somebody um, wants to make sure that their patients are, are exercising, this can be used to verify that. Um, a lot of times you'll see now insurance companies, they'll put um, dongles inside of cars to, to check what kind of driver you are. Same kind of thing here that if a person is exercising, uh, they're they're going to get uh, lower premiums for staying healthy, and uh, the the applications of this vision sensor are are wide. It can um, be used to to watch agricultural products um, being harvested or tracking natural meat resource mining. And so, in in this model here, each calorie coin token 
has its own blockchain allowing the chain of title to be explorable back to the mining of the token. So if you're receiving this calorie coin, uh, you're going to be able to see everybody that has had a copy of it all the way back to the actual moment that it was mined. And with this, this kind of tracking on it, um, what you can, it, it's very good for the, uh, the regulators and um, tax collectors, they would like that. And uh, I'll take any questions now. Uh, what is your sort of user acquisition plan? Are you trying to go B2C or do you have more of a sort of an enterprise sales uh, plan? Well, it can be used um, both ways. Um, I could actually set up a business so that they control their own back end. Um, they have the actual Google platform themselves and they can manage the whole, all of the users themselves or it can be used as an application just um, for people that want to exercise and earn the tokens. So I had a question. Um, is there any betting involved? Is there any betting involved in this? Um, I read a study that said if money is involved in a weight loss program, mm -hmm. uh, you have an 80% likely, more likely chance to complete your weight loss. And the incentivizing okay. model that this Tim Ferriss recommended is that you donate uh, money to the, your, your worst, the political party that you oppose. Right. Um, well, so is any betting, yeah, yeah seriously, <laughs> is any betting yeah. uh, incorporated in this? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I think the first model I would go after is like, let's say um, I'll pay you to exercise. So let's say you, $20 to exercise. So you give me $100 to set it up and I'll give you $120 back if you exercise for 120 minutes. So you're making a dollar a minute and so if you exercise the whole 120 minutes, you'll, you'll make the money. If you don't, then I'll keep the money. So that would, so I'll, I'll take the other side of that bet because I think more people would, would pay the $100 and then not fulfill doing all the exercise. But yet, a lot of people would probably take that bet. Okay, I can do it, I'm gonna exercise. Hey. That's not truly a bet. Okay. So my question is, uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm betting you're not going to do it, so. <laughs> All right, so how do you prevent people from setting up some system and gaming the calorie coin and just minting these in, ad infinitum? Yeah, over here. Okay. Yeah. One more time. How do you prevent people from just setting some machine up to try to mint these coins out of thin air? I mean, you say you have AI, but how sophisticated is it to detect that you're actually exercising? Well, what it does is it, it writes the video to a file that's about a 15 megabyte file that is uploaded to the server and they, then AI looks at that file um, to make sure the person is exercising. Now, it, the one way you could hack it, if you have an identical twin that's going to do the exercise for you, then, then that would get past it. But um, the, it's locked down. So in what if I build a mannequin that does that? for 20 hours just to try to mint infinite, like yeah. infinite calorie coins and sell them on the market and flood the market. Well, if you set up a mannequin, I think you're going to be able to see that in the video. Based on AI. Right. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Is there, over here. Is there, in your, in your condense, when you condense the 20 minute video to 20 seconds, are you, were you using your own technology to do that, or using something off the shelf? Is there any is there anything proprietary about this? Uh, no, that that is uh, just a function of Java within the Android um, system, okay. within the Android operating system. It's all it. What it does is you can select how many frames per second, and so I can vary the the, the frames that I capture um, between. Um, I could capture one frame every 100 seconds or 30 frames per second, and uh, my time is up.